And we're back. Welcome back to part three, our first time of three parts, and it may go to four, but we'll see, um, of Thursday Thoughts. So today we're talking about people's wax journeys in part one, people's wax type preferences as to hard wax, soft wax, glitter, no glitter, and etc. in part two. Also, do they do candles as well as, um, as well as melts? This, in part three, I'm going to do, everyone generously shared their favorite scent categories and five favorite fragrances from any vendor or brand. So I'm going to jump right in because there's quite a bit and I absolutely loved reading all this and thank you for the detail. It's just wonderful to see the range of, of interests. So we're starting with Deck Chair. Deck Chair said that in the summer, her favorites are fresh and fruity, some floral, like a lavender. And in the fall and winter, she prefers bakery and woody. And then she came back to say, really, she likes scents of the great outdoors, which I found very heartwarming, and I, I would share that. So favorite fragrances, Kringle, Aurum, and Evergreen. I love that fragrance. I'm going to try not to comment on every single one because there's so much here that I'm enthusiastic about, but that is a beautiful fragrance. I'm not going to give scent notes. Goose Creek, Autumn in Amsterdam from their international set. Bath and Body Works, a tie between Snow Mountain Lodge and Winter White Woods. I would crawl through hot oil for Winter White Woods. Hobby Lobby, Lavender and Sage. EBM, I wasn't familiar with that brand. It, maybe it's something obvious and I'm just missing that. What is that? Um, a tie between Solstice Soiree and Alpine Cheer, and then Yankee, Holiday Bayberry, and White Christmas. So there might be more than five there, and a lot of us did that, and that's that's okay. It's, our enthusiasm is, is uh, boundless. Joanne Gillick, favorite French categories, fresh, woody, cologne, citrus, mint, and fruity. Joanne has a wide range of, of uh, scent preferences, not much bakery or floral, but that said, one of her favorite fragrances is a bakery, and I, I totally get that. Favorite fragrances, Destination Wax Moon Spice Cookie. If you haven't tried that, you really must. It is lovely. L3 Waxy Wonders Mint Mojito Honeydew Fizzy Pop. And L L3 gets the prize for longest scent names. <laughs> Bathing Garden, Pink Cherry and Starry Lime. Empire Alchemy. Ring Leader. I haven't tried that one. Candles from the Keeping Room. She is, uh, yes, what is her name? Carol is retiring this year. So we all need to hit that last restock. I don't know when it is. And send her out in style. Excellent vendor. Barley Grass. Yes, gorgeous. I said I wasn't going to comment on everyone. LV. Um, didn't give a, a favorite category, but likes a wide range here. So favorite, Scentsy Polar Bear Hug. Scentsy, the Cinderella bar, which is, I believe, the floral bar that was out recently. Uh, Scentsy True Love Awaits. Hobby Lobby Calm. I haven't tried Hobby Lobby. Um, Walmart, Palo Santo and Violet. And Bed Bath & Beyond, Honey and Amber. Rachel O'Donnell says, like most, she likes most scents in theory which reminds me of something Matt said about theoretical sense that we think we're going to like, but then are we, we're not sure we really want the whole house to smell like that. Bubblegum comes to mind, which I adore, but do I really want the whole house to smell like that? Loves bakery, and there's not enough bakery in Region 2, so Sensi, if you're listening. Um, doesn't care for woody scents or the peppery cologne note. I understand that. Um, favorite scents, Sensi, make a splash and up. Oh, Scentsy Halloween Town, Bath and Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. Oh, and I think you said the original formula. Uh, Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Cupcake, the older formula, because that changed. And then um, really any bakery scent from Scentsy, echoing the desire for more bakery in Region 2. <laughs> Casey, bakery is her favorite, uh, but she likes and melts others from the other categories. Favorite, Scentsy, Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. Oh, love that. Bonfire Beach, Bath and Body Works, Endless Summer. Destination Wax, Zucchini Bread Pie Crust. And Quickie Wedding from Destination Wax. Quickie Wedding, may everyone's wedding cake 
taste as good as Destination Wax Quickie Wedding smells. It is exquisite. White cake with a thin layer of strawberry jam. Oh, heavens. I'm commenting. It's just the way it is. <laughs> okay. Taryn, bakery, hands down. And I believe Taryn said she loves bakery scents in the bedroom. Um, echoing Susan Fitzpatrick's been saying that. Uh, likes floral, but not too powdery. Favorite notes are zucchini bread and lemon curd. Oh, I love lemon curd. Scentsy, around the campfire. L3, blackberry lemon curd zucchini bread. L3, lavender cream rose jam don't cross streams. Um, sugar melts by Stacy, blueberry pumpkin patch and zape vanilla sunrise. Lovely, lovely. Natasha, um, in the winter, she likes bakery, woods, spice, and dark fruits. Yes, to all of those. Summer, uh, floral and fruity. Doesn't like straight salty sea air. I think many of us would agree with that. And salty sea air can be lovely in a blend, but it wants to take over the world, doesn't it? Favorite sense, Mad Witch Company, which I love the name. I, I'm thinking that's local to Australia. Um, Hagrid's Hut. Scentsy Arctic Kiss, Scentsy Halloween Town, love. Pumpkin Parcel, Hogwarts, I guess that's another local vendor, Natasha. Mad Witch, Espresso Patronum, I love that, instead of Expecto Patronum from, from um, Harry Potter, Espresso Patronum, that coffee scent. Brandy, Bakery, Brandy says, Bakery all day long. Uh, Beth and Body Works Wild Berry Jam Donut, and I have heard her rave about that in her videos. Beth and Body Works Berry Waffle Cone, Scentsy Toffee Butter Crunch, Scentsy Vanilla Oud, Scentsy Central Park Pralines. All right, Carrie, another bakery lover. Um, Carrie loves bakery, fruity, and soft cotton slash girly scents. Yeah, there's quite a few of those girly scents I love from Scentsy. Um, Scentsy Whip Vanilla Pear. And if you'll remember, that was one of the scents in the huge um, discounted uh, package that Carrie was able to, buy, able to buy when the person got caught in the downpour. That was the beginning of Whip Vanilla Pear. Carrie kindly sent me some Whip Vanilla Pear. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's hope that comes back. Marshmallow Mint, a favorite of mine. Pink Cotton. That's currently my car bar, Carrie. Um, Blue Agave and Melon from last summer, and Goose Creek Banana Pudding. If you guys haven't smelled Goose Creek Banana Pudding, you really need to try that in the wax melt. That is the most authentic banana pudding. Just beautiful cooked banana. Okay. Kara S. Uh, likes fall and holiday scents the best. You know, Kara, I love the holiday scents too, the Christmas scents. Mm. But have faves in every category. Scentsy Winterberry Apple Tea. These are all scentsy. Apple butter frosting, yes. And why is that not coming back? Uh, Luna, Cider Mill, and Christmas Cottage. That was one of the first scentsies I tried was Christmas Cottage. Jane. Jane likes a, a wide range. Woody, fresh, fruity, spicy, masculine, and sensual. Does not yet care for bakery or floral. Um, she said that uh, her favorites, now there's 10 here, Jane, but because I love you, I'm going to read them all. So we have Bonfire Beach, Stargazing, Southern Evening, Love and Happiness, bring back my bar, Silver Bells, Shimmer, Aladdin Three Wishes, Vitamin R Relax, Dark Harbor, and Christmas Cottage. And she said <laughs> the struggle is real, <laughs> trying to limit it. You know, there's so many favorites. Jane said that she has a back strain and is enjoying watching our videos um, while she's recuperating. And Jane, I hope you feel better soon. Back strain is no fun. You really can't do anything without feeling that, right? Hope you feel better soon. Mother Laura likes fresh and floral the best, likes the other categories, but no mask, you know, what's typically called a masculine scent, so like a men's cologne kind of scent. All of her favorites are Scentsy, Lilacs and Violets, Very Merry Cranberry, Wasail Wonderland. Oh, that's gorgeous. Sweet Pea and Vanilla, Plum and White Woods. Yes, there's some favorites of mine there too. Becky Hen prefers fall types. I'll tell you something, it is warming up. I came inside because the fellow in the back was using, he was working on his farm and he has a 
a machine that's beeping. I didn't explain why I moved inside. Anyway, but it's getting hot outside, even with the air on. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a cooker today. Okay, um, Becky Hand, fall types in bakery. Her least favorite type is perfumey. Her favorites are, now what does that say? Oh, in the spring, so she has seasonal favorites. In the spring, Destination Wax, Lemon Chiffon, and Fruit Loops. Yes, that lemon chiffon is gorgeous. Summer, in the summer, she says, I wait for fall. <laughs> I love that. I know a lot of people are like that. They're like, can we get through this summer season so we get our fall fragrances? In the fall, Becky prefers woody, crisp, fall harvest bakery types. And her favorite winter scent is Scentsy Blue Christmas. Wynn's mom likes fruity, citrus, and fresh, and, and it reminds us that living in California, it's pretty much summer all year long, so they don't really have occasion for the, you know, the wintry, snowy, tree scents and so on, because it doesn't really echo what's going on around them. Her favorite scents are Bath & Body Works Black Cherry Merlot, which I also love. She likes any good Satsuma scent, that gorgeous, deep orange scent. Uh, Scentsy Havana Cabana. Destination Wax Moon Spice Cookie. We heard that Joanne Gillick also loves that one. Um, Patty Wax, uh, Library Charles Dickens. And I'm not familiar with Patty Wax. I love that name. Mary Earhart um, prefers fresh and woody scents. Her favorites are all scentsy. And we have Cedar Cider. Yes. Around the Campfire, Make a Splash. Vanilla Blackberry. Yes. And Southern Evening. Not that I don't like the others, but you're touching on some of my very most favorite. Matt likes fruity scents, but does rotate and enjoys other types as well. And he says his favorites at this hour of the day, subject to change, in other words. Um, Yankee Candle, Cranberry Chutney, and if you'll recall, Matt has Cranberry Chutney stored underneath all his scentsy wax. And I, my heart goes out to the Cranberry Chutney wax melts because <laughs> they're kind of hidden. Uh, from Yankee, and if anybody knows a good Scentsy dupe for that, so I'm thinking maybe Very Merry Cranberry, not sure. Anybody comment on that? Scentsy, his favorites are Camu Camu, Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, Churro Churro, and Lush Gardenia. So see, there's a floral in there, and a spicy. Matt, you have a wider range than, than, uh, than stated. Lovely. And then Myself, and again, I mentioned some of this last week, so I don't want to go on and on. How are we on time? Oh, we're only at 12 minutes. Okay, great. Ah, I have more people, though, right? No, this, okay. Did I go through everybody's? Yes, I did. How about that? Okay. Um, myself, I pref my favorite category is fresh, but I really like all the categories. I don't care for the men's cologne type. And I, I'm not, again, I'm not quite sure what the note is because I like woody um, fragrances and I like um, vetiver, which often is blamed. Um, I, I'm not sure what that note is. And I don't like that kind of alcohol note that you get sometimes in a men's cologne. So I'm not entirely sure what the note is I don't care for. But anyway, men's cologne kind of out for me. Um, I, this year, have been enjoying bakery, which I really did not delve much into. I did enjoy it before, but this year, I just, for whatever reason, have, I blame um, Goose Creek, the, their whole Cake Pops collection. <laughs> it's just decadent. And also Destination Wax, Quickie Wedding. I mean, there, there were some that kind of booted me over the edge, and it's like, no, Amy, you really do enjoy this. So my favorites, my probably favorite scent in the world at this moment to echo Matt's at this hour, um, is Destination Wax Sea Salt and Yuzu. If I die, please, I've said this before, if I die, please melt that at my wake. I just adore that. Um, from Scentsy, and I do have more than five, I hope you'll forgive me. Um, Walnut Raisin Muffin, Apple S'mores, Marshmallow Mint, Thunderstorm, and a recent favorite, Cucumber and Cactus Water from the Summer Collection. I love that. In fact, here in the guest bedroom, I have a fragrance flower in that scent. Oh, it's just such a beautiful, refreshing scent. Kringle, I like, um, and from Kringle slash Country Candle, cilantro, apple, and lime. Oh, my goodness, do I love that. They, that comes in can paraffin candle and in their small um, 
tester candle said the name went right out of my head. Anyway, the, the small can daylight candles. Um, up the Creek scents, strawberry pound cake and boardwalk marshmallow clouds combined from Up the Creek scents to die for. And the bathing garden, Calypso. So I'm sorry, that were quite a few there. So see, Brandy, I, I did talk about myself. <laughs> Too much, probably. Okay, I think that's all of the favorite scents. So I have time. I actually have time. Ooh, oh, that's telling me it's limited to 16:35. I don't have time. Okay, let me stop there, and I'll do the. I'll do another part. We're gonna have four parts this week. Can you believe it? And in the last part, I will do questions for next week, and then just some delightful things people commented on that were random. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.